Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Welcome to this week's Weekly Wednesday. Um, today is Wednesday, January 19th, and I have a cute little, um, little card box that we're going to make today. So we're not going to do, um, a lot of times I'll do two different projects, like two cards. Today we're actually going to do this little box. And it features a celebration item driving by. Oh, I've seen so many adorable cards with this. Love this. And then it also features um, a celebration item called Special Moments. Now, driving by, you can get with a $50 order. Special Moments is with a $100 order. But honestly, if you can, this is a great stamp set. I am... I love saying stamp sets, and when you can get a saying stamp set that has like everything on it, it's so nice to have, especially for the inside of your cards and outside. So that's what we're going to work on today is some celebration items, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to show you that what this is. So I'm using our three by three, well, three and an eighth by three and an eighth um, acetate boxes. And inside, we are going to make three, three by three note cards with envelopes that we're going to decorate. So there are three vehicles, um, three cars on this driving by stamp set. So we're going to make three of them. And so here are our cute little cards. So aw, thanks. You've got style and driving by just to say hi. Um, I think this is a cute thing to give as a gift. Um, it's just cute. Everybody could use some little cards to have to pass along to people. And I'm going to teach you guys a little trick today. Um, well, I shouldn't say I'm going to teach you because many of you may already know this little trick. So let's go ahead and get started with our card bases. My friend um, Lori showed this to me quite a few years ago. I decided not to cut and score the card base yet um, because I wanted to share this. So my friend Lori shared this with me a couple years ago, and I'm going to totally admit this on camera. <laughs> I have been stamping since 2001. I will be celebrating my 10 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator this July. And two years ago, she showed this to me and it was like mind blowing for me. Um, I know there's always something out there that maybe is mind blowing to you. Like somebody showed you something and you're like, well, why didn't I ever think of that? Well, this was that for me. So I'm going to share it. So these cards here measure at three by six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper here and I'm going to put it to the six mark. Okay, and I'm just going to cut this piece off. We don't need this, okay? Now I need three of these at three. So three, three, and three. So this is what we're going to do. So instead of me turning this, this is the mind-blowing part. Before, <laughs> I used to turn this and I would cut it at three, cut it at three, cut it at three, and then I would go back through and score it. Oh, contraire. She's like, why are you doing that? I'm like, why am I doing what? She's like, put it at the three because you know you're going to score at the three, right? Because here's your, here's your base. It's three by six. And in order to do this in half, you're going to score it at three. She's like, so put it at three, score it all the way down one time, and now cut. Instead of cutting first and then scoring three times. I'm not doing that. I scored one time. That was mind blowing to me. That was mind blowing to me a couple years ago. Now, here we have our three cards. Yes, I have this little piece here that has a score line in it, but that's totally fine. We are going to go ahead and use this because this is what we're going to use for our stamping our sayings. And then we're just going to fussy cut them out anyway. So this is perfect scrap for us to do that with. So we're going to set it aside. And let's go ahead and get started with making our cards. So I'm using our six by six um, designer series paper stacks. They come in in colors, brights, neutrals, subtles, um, and the regals. So I'm just sharing 
and showing this piece of paper. So this is how they come. I love these. I mean, these are probably one of my favorite things. If Stampin' Up! ever got rid of them, I would be sad. However, I do wish Stamping Up! would make this in a 12 by 12 and not a 6 by 6 paper stack in all the colors. I do wish that. But I'll, 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 I'll suggest it. <laughs> and if you think that too, I would love for you to go online and suggest it as well. Okay. So I've already cut these pieces out. So we're using, um, we're using all of them from the brights. So we're using melon mambo, which I have to cut down. We're using, um, mango melody, and then we're using Coastal Cabana. Wow, I hesitated a little too long on that one, especially since this is one of my favorite colors. So when you have these six by six pieces of paper, I always cut it down to three and then you can cut it at three and you can get four sheets out of it. But with this being three, we want this to be a little bit, um, well, no, I don't want this this time. If you wanted this to be, I'm sorry, I just confused everybody. I think I just confused myself. Sometimes you could put this designer series paper a little bit smaller so that you could have the white edge around it. That is normally what I do do. <laughs> um, and yes, I just said do do. My, my daughter would just totally call me out on that. Okay, <laughs> so wow, I'm batting a thousand a day. This time, I am not going to cut this down. I want this to actually be a three by three because I want to cover the entire card with it, okay? So let's go ahead and use our bone folder. And we're going to varnish in those creases, especially because I'm using the thick cardstock. Um, whenever I use basic white or very vanilla as my card base, whether it's a three by three card base or a normal size card or fun fold, I always use the thick. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna set these down first and then we're gonna go into some stamping. Oops, I got that a little crooked. So we're gonna kind of push that back and use my bone folder to make that so it's not crooked. There we go. We're gonna line that right up to the edge. And then I want this side I think I did the other side with that, but that's okay. All right. All right. So there's our three card bases. Okay. I'm going to set these aside for right now because we're not going to be using these, but we are going to get out our circles and we're going to do four circles. So we have the three circles for the card, but then we also have the stamping on the front of it. So I have four circles here that I used from our layering circle dies. And I believe these are the second to largest. So we're gonna stamp, let's stamp this one first. So let's get out our Memento ink pad. This, this is the only sentiment that we're using from the special moments. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ink that up in the center here just like that. And then we're going to kind of do a little trick. And then I'm done with this ink pad. We're going to do a little bit of a trick. So with this car, I want the balloons just to kind of cut, cover the edge here. So I'm just going to ink up just the balloon area. And I'm just going to stamp like that. Okay. And then we'll color that later. But in the meantime, now let's go ahead and ink this all up. And I am using the Memento ink pad because I'm going to be using blends for my coloring. The only um, marker that I'm not using that is a blend is the Melon, no, the Mango Melody. Um, they used to have that in a blend and they discontinued it. I, I, I don't know why. Makes me sad, makes me sad. All right, so there's our van, and then we just have the little Volkswagen bug left. So we'll stamp all of these. I think these are so cute. All right, so there's those. 
Now, while we're stamping and we have our memento out, let's go ahead and stamp our three sayings because we're going to just fussy cut them out anyway. So we'll stamp them now. And I'll do driving by there. Aw, oh, thanks. Doesn't matter if you're crooked, you're going to fussy cut it out. And that way we have that. All right, so we are completely done with our stamping. We're all done with that. I'm gonna set this aside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our coloring. So let's start with this one first. I'm going to um, color in the balloons. And I'm gonna be very careful with this one because I have to use the Stampin' Right marker. I don't want it to bleed. And this is a water-based marker, whereas the blends are an alcohol-based marker, so they work really well with the Memento. All right. And sometimes I have had it bleed, so I just wanna be very careful when I'm doing that. And the blends that I have are in the same color, so but I'm using the dark. So I'm using the dark, um, Melon Mambo for this. I'm using um, the Dark Pool Party and then obviously the um, Mango Melody. Now I am going to use the Light Melon Mambo for the car. So I do want to use the light for the car. And so we're just going to kind of color in here. And I like to outline it because, I don't know, that's how I learned how to color when I was younger. <laughs> well, not when I was real young, but when I decided that scribbling was unacceptable and I wanted to do better, I would outline it first and then I would color it in. All right. So now I'm going to get out my smoky slate because we need smoky slate in the light and in the dark. And I'm going to do the front part and the back part in the light. And I'm going to do the center part here in the light. And then I'm going to do the outer rim of the tire, the bigger part of the tire in the dark. Now there is a windshield, which I am going to use the pool party, but I'm going to use the light party. I'm going to do that for the glass. All right. Now I'm going to bring back this mango melody because I'm going to color all of the balloons on this one in the mango melody. There we go. That one is finished. So let's just set that one aside. And since I have mango melody already in my hand, that's what we're going to use to color in the van. Could you imagine having a van this color? <laughs> I don't know if I would think that's like cool if I saw it or if I would think it's creepy. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it depends on what it looks like, I guess. I'd have to see it in person. <laughs> it's like those vans from Back to the Future. That van is creepy to me. It's not like the kidnapper creepy van. It's just like, I don't know, the creepy van. All right. It's amazing how sometimes you can look at a car and be like, ooh, that car's scary. <laughs> Who knew, right? All right, so we're going to color in that, that. And I'm going to use, again, the light pool party for the windows. Oops, not that end because... I'm in a smaller space. I like to use the finer tip part. I love our blends. Love, love, love them. All right. I'm going to do the same thing where I'm doing the light inside. And then... The exhaust... This van doesn't seem creepy to me, though. This seems like a, like a Volkswagen van. And I just realized that I need to color in this part, that this is not part of the tire. So I'll go back and do that. 
All right, there we go. All right, so that part's done. Now we just have the little bug. I mean, of course, we have the bugs. So why won't we have the Volkswagen van? Now with this one, I, I feel like I did this in dark saffron, but I just pulled out Daffodil Delight, and I already started. So we're going to do it in Daffodil Delight and see, because this looks darker. I have a feeling I'm going to like it in the dark saffron more. Now, if you pop on over underneath the video, um, I have a link where you can print the project sheet for free. The project sheet has the right color that I did. Because whenever I create these, I go in right away and create the project sheets. So, and they're print, they're free to print. Um, they have the colored pictures, they have the measurements and the supplies that you need. Yeah, I like the bug lighter. You know what we could do? Maybe we just need to take color lifter. Let's try this and see if we can just kind of lighten it up just a little bit. I mean, that is what the color lifter is for. And we'll just kind of lighten it up. Hmm. Still not the same shade, but that's okay. That's okay. And if you are not a um, subscriber to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. Now with this one, we're actually going to do the tire in black, not the um, dark smoky slate. Every Wednesday I pop on here and I do a video. Um, and then I also do random videos too. But Wednesday is a, always. All right, and then we need our windows. Yeah, this looks like a taxi. It doesn't look cute like that. Hmm. Well, now we know. All right. We're still gonna make it cute, right? All right. We are done coloring, so let's move our markers out of the way. And before we assemble, let's go ahead and start, let's cut out these two. So we're just going to, I'm literally just cutting around it freestyle. So don't, don't think, oh my gosh, that's, that's not perfect. It's fine. Then you have this piece to use for other, other pieces here. This, when you cut these words like this out, freestyle, they're not, I don't think they're meant to be all perfect. You're like cutting out the words, you know? All right, so then we have all thanks. And then we have just driving by to say hi. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, let's bring our cards back. So we're gonna need some dimensionals. So let's flip them and let's put them in the right order here. So let's flip these guys, get some dimensionals going here. All right, if you guys do not have the stamp set yet and it's on your wish list, um, I would definitely get it. Um, I really like it. I've seen so many cute cards with it head on over to amanda's inspiration station you can shop my online store there's also a link right in um, below to to shop plus right now you, i mean shopping you get celebration items um depending on how much you spend or if you're hosting a party but if you're spending 300 or hosting a party and it's 300 or more then you get a free stamp set um that's super pretty. And if you just want to always have a 20% discount or more, um, up to 25%, um, actually up to more than that, depending, but always 20% for sure. Um, you could always purchase the um, starter kit and you get to pick two free stamp sets with that. It's $125 worth of product that you get to pick what you want. 
You get two free stamp sets with it, but you only pay $99 in tax. So shipping is free too, which is a savings of 10%. All right, so now let's get out. I'm going to get my little mini, mini, mini glue dots, or not glue dots, dimensionals here, because I'm going to need that for the these smaller pieces. Yeah, it's right now during celebrations. It is such a great time. And you know what? Maybe you're just somebody who only wants to, um, you know, you have no desire to do videos and all that. That's totally fine. You do not have to do that. Um, for many years, I did it just to have a discount. I was like, oh, I love stamping up. Why am I paying full price for this? So, and all are welcome on my team. We are called the Crafty Cats, and we would love to have you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so here, here we have our little thing. So let's get back to our project here. Now we need to add our, I'm doing um, those matte black dots. Oh, love them. I think that if Stamping Up ever gets rid of these, which I'm sure someday they will, I will be very sad. And I'm just kind of putting three of them randomly on the card in the circle. Um, you know what? I'm going to put that one over there because I don't want to make it so it's like so stuck there. All right. I just, I think these dots go so well with like everything. Mm. You know what? Let's, let's do it there. All right. Oh, and then we have to put one over here. I'm going to put one right there too. Okay. Look at that. How cute is that? So now before we put all this together, so we have our little cards, we have our front, we are going to decorate our envelopes. So here are the envelopes. They're three and an eighth by three and an eighth, and we sell them in our annual catalog. And I literally just cut these to three by one and one and three ugh, three by one and three fourths um now because I did this one in the plaid I'm going to do this one in the plaid and I'm going to put a strip there put a strip there now the reason why I cut these at three you really could cut them at three and a fourth and it would you wouldn't have this little tiny sliver of an envelope right there. But I'm going to tell you why I didn't do that. Because this is a six by six piece of paper, if I were to decorate a bunch of three by three envelopes, I would cut this down the center at three and then I could get one, two, three, four. So I would get a total of eight of these pieces to cover that. So that's why I did not. But if you look, you can see a tiny little bit of the envelope. I don't think that's that big of a deal. And if you do, but you still want what you um, you still want to get as many pieces out of one sheet as possible, you could always just kind of trim in this little tiny sliver and then go like that. And then no one would even know. That's totally up to you. All right, so now we have for that. Let's, and you can use your um, multi um, liquid, multi purpose liquid glue too for this. I just kind of had my stamp and steel out today, so that's what I used, but. And then you're just trimming this little bit of this extra paper off. And we have one more. All right. I hope everyone's enjoying celebrations right now. I would love to hear what your favorite free celebration item is. Um, I would definitely say mine is the Sunshine and Rainbow Designer Series paper. That would be my first favorite. Um, I like this stamp set, though. This is super cute. All right. So now we have our little acetate box. We need to put this together. So we're just going to kind of... I'm going to bend it in the opposite direction. 
because I find that it helps it to stay when I do that. And then I'm gonna bring it back into the right direction. Okay. And we'll do that. All right, so now let's put our little cards in here. Um, I like the little bug on the front. Don't ask me why you can't see it anyway, but it makes really no sense to do it that way. But I think it's just because I like that color behind. behind. All right, so there's that. So now we're going to put dimensionals on our little cover here. And... We're gonna line that up to the circle, but before we do that, before we do that, we need to do our ribbon. Um, now I'm gonna tie a ribbon over to the side and I wanna make sure that there is enough on the side here for me to do a nice size bow. Um, I'm generally not a very good bow maker unless I, or unless I have a actual bow maker, but if I tie them on the side like this, I generally, I've gotten pretty, I don't want to say like good, good at it, but I've gotten, I've gotten pretty okay at it. Way better than it was when I started. <laughs> when I first started, it was like, ooh. Yeah, I used to tie my shoes. All right. Now let's do a little trimming. All right, so now, because we want that bow to stay, we're gonna line this up right over top like this. There you have it. There is your cute little box with your three cards. Here's your three cards. Yep, I like that bug better. And here's your box. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's um, video and projects. Remember, if you want the measurements in that, go ahead and hop on over to Amanda's Inspiration Station, print that project sheet. It's completely free. And if you want to buy some of your supplies or things that you want on your wish list so that you can get this stamp set, um, there's a link below that you can click right to that. Um, otherwise, again, you can hop at amandasinspirationstation.com. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.